Alrighty, it's here, ladies and gentlemen, the 4.7 drip marketing for Genshin Impact. And honestly, the characters they drip marketed were uh, not what I expected. So the first of our characters here is Chloran, who's of course gonna be Electro. And of course, we met her in the Fontaine storyline of Genshin Impact. And then here's another thing. Another character has also been drip marketed for 4.7, Siegeween, who we met in the Fortress of Meripede alongside Risley. And here's a surprise! There's actually a third character drip marketed for 4.7, which is Sethos, who is the boy you see in Sinus Act 2 story quest. So wow, really, like three characters all in version 4.7. That's just honestly, I thought we would only get like one or two characters, but three just just caught me completely by surprise. But there you go, Chloran is gonna be uh, I'm pretty sure a five star electro character. Cedrine I'm pretty sure is gonna be a five star hydro character, and Sethos is an electro character, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a four star. I don't know something about him to me just screams four star i don't know why but i have the feeling yeah that he's gonna be a four star i mean they wouldn't release three five stars in a single update would they but yeah there you guys have it the 4.7 characters drip marketed still no emily yet uh, still looking forward to her maybe in like 4.8 or something but Hey, at least we got the entirety of the Fontaine cast finally in the game. <laughs> but yeah, if what I say is true and Chloran and Sea Green are both five stars, yeah, my wallet is, is gonna be uh is gonna be hurting. Especially since Arlecchino is like coming out in like two days. But yeah, absolutely cannot wait for 4.6 and 4.7 now with this drip marketing. And yeah, hope you guys are too. I think I'm looking forward to Chloran the most because I think she's a sword user as well as like and also she's seemingly gonna be using a gun as well. So very, very excited to see what her gameplay is gonna be all about. About. And yeah, I'll probably pull Siegeween and Sethos as well, but for me, I'm mainly looking forward to Chloran in 4.7. Also, alongside the drip marketing, we also got the reveal of the four stars on Arlequino and Linny's banners, which are gonna be Lynette, Fremne, and Xiangling. <laughs> the house of her family and Xiangling for some reason. I would have much preferred Chevrus on this banner, or Kave, or just any other four star, but alright, I guess, uh... Shangling it is. Also, the weapon banner is, of course, going to be Arlequino's signature weapon and Lenny's signature bow, along with these four stars. Oh, yeah, and we also got details of the new artifacts that are coming in the version 4.6 update. Uh, unfinished Revere. Okay, so two pieces attack percent and four pieces. After leaving combat for three seconds, damage dealt is increased by 50%. In combat, if no burning opponents are nearby, for more than 6 seconds, this damage bonus will decrease by 10% per second until it reaches 0. When a burning opponent exists, it will increase by 10% instead until it reaches 50%. This effect still triggers if the equipping character is off field. Okay. So the character deals more damage when they're not on field, and the damage bonus is kept up if a burning opponent exists. Weird. We that it's centered around burning, like that specific reaction. Like, there's so many Dendro reactions they could have done it on, but burning specifically. Hmm. Not entirely sure who this would be good on. I mean, I guess it could be good on Nahida, maybe, but I think you would rather run Elemental Mastery on her instead. Yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below which character you think this artifact set will be good on. Because I can't think of anybody at the top of my head that would prefer this set over any other sets. Then we also got the second artifact set, Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy. Okay, two pieces, attack percent also. And the fourth piece set is, when the value of a bond of life increases or decreases, this character deals 18% increased damage for six seconds. Max three stacks. Okay, so pretty much this is gonna be Arlequino's like dedicated set. I think this is a set you wanna run on her because, you know, <laughs> she has the whole bond of light mechanic all built into her kit. So of course he would want that. Not sure how these are gonna perform in comparison to like Marchose and Crimson Witch, but we'll see. We'll test it out when we pull for Arlequino on Wednesday. And man, there's so much more things to look forward to in this week because I think tomorrow Arlequino's demo is going to drop and then the day after that Arlequino will officially come out in Genshin Impact. And then alongside that, and then alongside that, we'll also get the drip marketing for the characters in Honkai Star Rail 2.3. And I cannot wait to see who they are. I hope Sam is one of them. I hope Sunday is one of them. And then also on Friday, we're going to get the 2.2 uh, special program for Honkai Star Rail as well. So, so much is happening this week and I cannot wait to stream it all to you guys. But alrighty, that concludes this uh, very, very short announcement video of the 4.7 drip marketing. Be sure you hit that subscribe button because I will be covering all of this Genshin and Staria content in this week and also the next. And yeah, be sure to leave a like because it really supports the channel. And don't forget to comment down below which character you're most looking forward to in 4.7 of Genshin Impact. But alrighty, that concludes it for this very short announcement video. I wish you guys all the best when pulling for Arlequino and Linny when their banners do come out. And hope you win your 50-50s. But yeah, guys, with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. And hope to see you guys again in the next video. Take care, and have a good night. Oh, Doctor, you're huge.